Hello, this is Mira from Malaya Pilates. This is an active aging sitting and standing class. This class is perfect for the over 60 or if you have any issue going down to the floor for a traditional Pilates class. We'll be doing a modified Pilates based exercises to be done seated and standing. What you need for the class is a long scarf or towel and of course a chair, a stable chair. I have an office chair here that has wheel. I do not recommend it. I have a sticky mat underneath so it doesn't move, but I'm using this chair so that I can swivel for the sake of the camera. So let's go ahead and start. So grab your towel or scarf Wrap the scarf around the rib cage, like so. So it's hugging just the lower part of the rib cage here. I want you to cross the scarf in front of your body like so. All right. Now, I want you to sit up nice and tall, as tall as possible, shoulders nice and easy, drawing down towards the arm and I take an inhale, I want you to think about lateral expansion of the rib cage. So you're opening, expanding the ribs. As you inhale, exhale. And an inhaling. Exhale. Watch how my scarf is gliding out. As I inhale, and an exhale, and a tighten back up. And an inhale, exhale. You want to try to expand as wide as possible on an inhalation. And then deflating on exhalation. Two more times, inhale. And exhale. Last one. And exhale. Well done. Let it go for a bit. Let the scarf go. I'm going to take the right arm up to the ceiling. Grab the right wrist with the left hand. Reach long and away towards the ceiling and a slight gentle tilt towards the left. And I want you to inhale again, focusing on the expansion of the right rib cage. Exhale, pull the arm and reach even further. And an inhale. And exhale. Two more sets, inhale. And exhale. Last set, inhale. And exhale. Return back to the middle. Release. Other arm, left arm comes up, grab the wrist with the right hand, reach long towards the sky and a gentle lateral tilt to the right. Inhale, expansion of the rib cage on the left. Exhale, again, inhaling and exhaling. Two more times, inhaling and exhaling, last one, inhaling, and exhaling, and bring it upright, and let that go. Okay, let's bring your hand on your shoulder, your fingertips on your shoulder. We're gonna bring the elbows up, rotate the shoulders up and back, and again, inhale, and back, again, fill up the lungs as you inhale, and exhale. In breath. Exhale. Maybe perhaps bring the elbow together in front of you. Exhale. Again, elbows together. And exhale. Two more. If you can, if you cannot, that's all right. And then reverse direction. We go back, up, and forward. Inhale, back, up, and forward. And again, back, and then forward. Again, the elbows may touch in front of you. And then three more, and two, and one. 
Now, let's do single. So, you're going to take the right elbow up and then you're going to rotate the body to the back on the right side and on the left. And I'm back and on the right. And just keep breathing here and inhale. And an in breath. Look behind you. And an in breath. Two more each side. And last one each side. And the very last, let that go. Okay, now let's do some neck stretch here. We're gonna take the right arm over your head, left fingertips on the left shoulder, and then pull the neck gently away with the head away from the shoulder and the shoulder away from the head. And then we're just gonna inhale, lengthening out the left side of the neck, and exhale, pull away, pull apart. One more, inhale, and exhale, and let that go. And over to the other side, right hand over your head, left fingertips on the, sorry, right fingertips on the shoulder, and then pull that side apart, gently tilt the head to the left, and again, inhaling, stretch away, exhale, again, inhaling, stretch away, and exhale. Try not to be so forceful with the hands here. And then exhale with the pull. And then release. Good job. Okay, now grab the scarf or the towel again. All right, place that scarf in front of your chest here. So your hand and your shoulder approximately in one straight line. All right, so sitting up nice and tall here, upright. I wanted to think about pulling apart. So you're gonna try to tear the scarf away, apart. And then I wanted to, as you breathe out, draw that pelvic floor muscle and then wrap the abdominal wall in like you're wearing a corset, okay? So we inhale. Exhale, the pelvic floor lifting up, the corset muscle wrapping the waist, and then let it go. And try not to slouch, okay? We're gonna inhale and exhale, pull apart, lift the pelvic floor, wrap the abdominal, and then release. Again, I'm just gonna fold this scarf in half. So, okay, so, and exhale. In breath. Again, exhale. Pull it in, hold it three, two, one. Inhale, three more times. Exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, two more. Exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, last one. Exhale, pull apart, pull apart, pull apart. Hold that on inhale. Then we're gonna exhale, take your arms up. And an inhale, take the arm forward. Exhale, take your arms up. Now taking care that your ribs do not stick out. Keep it in and return. Exhale, ribs gliding down towards the pelvis as you take your arms up. And again, wrap that corset muscle in and then bring that pelvic floor up. And an in breath. Again, still have the sensation of pulling the scarf away or apart and a center. Two more times. And an exhale. In breath. Last one. Exhale. In breath. And let that go. Shake it out. You will feel it around the upper part of that shoulder. Perfect. Okay, now let's take your arms forward again here. Sitting up nice and tall again. Pull that scarf gently apart. And then with that slouching or twisting, we're going to slide the right leg out. And then return. And the left leg. And then return. And the right leg. So your torso is still nice and long and connected. When I say connected, I mean supported. So your abdominal is supporting the height of the spine, okay? So we're not slouching as you stretch. Do your best to pull up the abdominal wall and then return one more each side. Exhale, in breath, exhale, 
and then let's add the arms. We exhale, slide the leg, take the arms overhead, and then return. And then slide and take your arms, and then return. And then exhale, and then return. And then exhale, it's all about the control here. And inhale, and then one more each side, exhale, and return, and again, exhale, and return. Brilliant. Okay, now let's, if you fold the scarf like, you did, uh, like I did, let them apart and have your hands wider than before, so more like a V-shape, a triangle here. Let's take your arms overhead, okay? So widen the shoulder, kind of quite wide, like a V-shape here. Now I want you to just bring the arms further behind your head, if you can to get a nice shoulder stretch. So I'm going quite far. You don't have to go as far as I am. I do have a very flexible shoulder here. So we're just gonna stretch it up. Inhale, pull back, reach back, and exhale, bring it back right over your head. And again, inhale, two more times here. Stretch back, stretch, pull away, pull the, pull the scuff apart, and then return. And then again, last one. Remember, only go as far when you feel comfortable. When you feel pain, please pull back. And then return. Okay, now keep the arms overhead. We're going to bend the elbows and pull that shoulder blade apart and then extend the arms out again. I'm just gonna bring your hands a little closer, it's a bit too far. And we're gonna bend the elbow, pull the shoulder blades apart, widen the shoulder and then extend. And again, out as you inhale, and then exhale. Pull out on the shoulder blade as you inhale, take your arm down, and exhale. And again, in breath, and then exhale. One more, inhale, and then exhale. Last one, inhale, we stay here. Now, we're going to add the twist. So rotate to the left. <laughs> Inhale, center, to the right. Keep the pelvis settle and stable. And center. And center. Center. One more each side. The last one. Now we're gonna add leg extension here. Now I'm gonna twist to the left and I'm gonna slide my right leg and then center. So this time one breath only and then center. Exhale, inhale, center. Exhale, you feel your shoulder starting to heat up a lot here. That's good, you're working this arm well. And then center. It will help to open up the chest a little bit by strengthening those arm muscles and the chest muscle. And then one more each side. Twist and center. Last one, twist, center. Take your arms up, take it down, shake it out. Good job. All right, now let's bring the scarf underneath the rib cage. All right, just under the shoulder blade. All right, let's take your hands, your arms in this position here. Now we're gonna do some high release here. So we're gonna stretch, we're gonna really pull into the scarf so your back can rest on your scarf, okay? And then we're gonna go into a little high release, which is we're gonna inhale, arch back, you're going to support your back with the scarf. I'm pulling really tight here with my arms. And then come back up right again, okay? We're gonna inhale, reach, Lengthen, try not to break the neck, keep the neck long. And then forward, two more times. Inhale, pull the scalp forward as you let the back rest on your scalp and you're going to do a high release. And then center, and one more, chest up to the ceiling, reaching out and come back and let it go. Excellent. Okay, let the scarf go for a second. All right, so sitting up nice and tall here. So you're sitting sort of towards the front of the chair a little bit here. Okay, now 
pick up the center. I want you to take the right heel up and then I'm gonna come and then you wanna come onto your toe and then if you can lift the thigh up so your foot is floating and then return. Switch over to the other side, left heel, toe and leg. If taking the leg off the ground is too challenging, that's all right, you can just keep it right, just off the floor a little bit. Okay, do what you can. And on the left, and on the left. And on the lower. And right, lift. And on lower. And on the left, lift. And on lower. And right, lift. And lower. And and left, lift. And lower. One more each side, right lift and lower last one left lift and lower now we're gonna take the right foot and I'm gonna twist the body towards the right place your left hand onto your right thigh I want you to think about pulling up the thigh and press the hand down at the same time so press down and lift up as you twist stay three two one, you feel the obliques engaging and then come back and then twist over to the other side, lift the left foot, right hand on the left thigh, press down as you lift up, stay, three, two, one, and let's do one which side, twist to the right, left foot, sorry, right foot comes up, left hand on the right thigh, pressing down and up, three, two, one, and the last one, twist to the left, Left thigh comes up, right hand on it, and press down and lift up, squeeze and draw the abdominal in. Three, two, one, and come back down. Excellent. Now you're going to face the side, and you're gonna bring your, I have my right thigh inward, so bring my right thigh just at the edge of the chair. Okay, now if you have an armchair, you can place your hand on the armchair, otherwise you can place it down on the thigh. So I'm with my left thigh drawing down towards the floor here. Okay, now curl that pelvis under a little bit so you're not sticking your booty out. Pull under and lift up the front abdominal wall. Now the outside arm, so same arm and leg, reach up to the ceiling and then you go ahead and do a gentle stretch to the inside to the back of the chair so pulling up the center lifting up curling the pelvis under you're going to feel a stretch in front of the hip as well as on the lateral side of the body and stay here in breath exhale two more breath inhale Exhale, one more inhale, exhale, come up right and let that go, good job. Now I want you to bring the leg in, the outside leg in, then I want you to lean towards the chair, but taking care that you don't slouch in the spine. So pull up that center, you can place a hand on the armchair if you have an arm, otherwise onto your thighs, also do the same. Ex stretch the leg away, reach out, reach out, reach out, and lengthen up just for a second, and then bring it in, and we hold. And then we're gonna take the leg up, one, and then down. Keep the pelvis stable, two, and then down and then three, and then down, and four, and let's do 10 here, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and then we're gonna hold here, 10, hold, stay there, four, five, four, three, two, one, take it down, and come up, Excellent, okay, let's go to the other side. So I have my left thigh on the chair and my right leg on the outside. Right, curling the pelvis under, lifting up that center, outside arm up to the ceiling, lengthening out, you feel a stretch in the front of the hip and then off we go to the back of the chair, like so. 
All right, and then we we'll lengthen out as you low, lengthen the knee down, stay in breath, and then exhale. Again, in breath, and an exhale. One more in breath, and an exhale, and let that go. Release the arm, take the outside leg in, and then you're going to lean to the back of the chair. Again, remember, you wanna take the spine in a one straight line, lift up the bottom waist, not so comfortable. All right, here we go. I think I've got it now. Right, so hold that center, and then we're gonna take the leg up, and then down, and then two, and then down, and then three, good. And then four, and then five. You can place your hand if you like to, just to help you to get a feedback that your pelvis is stable. And on seven, eight, two more, nine, Last one, 10, hold there for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down, brilliant. All right, let's come up, sitting again to the edge or on the edge of the chair. Okay, now take the right leg up, place your ankle just on the thigh, lifting up the spine, and I want you to lean forward here for a nice stretch on the right glute or bottom muscle. All right, so your back is nice and long. We don't slouch. We contract that back, keeping a nice long line. You can gently press the right thigh towards the floor for a deeper stretch. In breath, exhale. And in breath, exhale. One more in breath and exhale. Let that go and we switch to the other side. So we've got my left leg on the thigh. My spine is nice and long. I lean forward, drawing my center in, gently pressing my left hand on my left thigh, pushing it down to the floor and I lean forward. Inhale and an exhale. In breath and exhale one more and coming up and let it go now it's time to stand up come to the back of the chair this is why i like this office chair i can just swivel around to get the right position i want okay now hand on the back of the chair bring the feet behind the shoulder okay now you are kind of in a push-up plank position here but we're not going to do push-up just make sure your chair is stable okay now we're going to send the knee forward send the pelvis back and we're going to lower the body down for a shoulder stretch here so you may not come down as low as I am but you whatever your shoulder feels comfortable in the stretch position okay so lengthening the pelvis back feels like someone's pulling your pelvis behind you but at the same time your knee is being pulled forward too your abdominal wall is lifted up towards the back of your spine inhale exhale two more breath inhale exhale long neck last one inhale exhale and then let's straighten the leg come back up good step your feet forward underneath the shoulder okay now lifting up the center you want to sit tall as tall as possible all right we're going to take anchor your right foot take the left foot off and then lower okay and then lift up again now, if you have a good balance with this, you can take one arm off, or maybe two, right? You can do it. All right, hold the butt. If balance is, a tri is tricky for you, place your hands down, okay? We want no accident here. So lift up, and I'm gonna take my hands off. And then one more, and let's hold it for five, four, three, two, one 
take them down. All right, on to the other side. So my right foot comes off and up and lower and then up. I like to do it with articulation of the foot. So I'm taking my heel up first on a high tippy po um, high vocal releve and then up on the tippy toe, okay? So flat foot, high heel, and up on the tip of the toes and a lift up. All right, so you can take your hands off, hand off or hands off. And then up again, lift and down. Two more times, pull up, pull away from the gravity. Don't let, it, don't let the gravity take you down. Okay, one more time, take it up, hold for five, four, three, two, one, and release, good job. Now last exercise, step forward towards the chair slightly so your arms are slightly bent like so. Okay, anchoring the feet down, pressing the hands down gently on the back of the chair. We're going to lift up the center, pull up, and then we're going to take your body up into an extension and then stretch the arm at end. And then come back, bring your spine upright. Again, inhale, gently press onto the top of the chair. And then high release, open up that chest to the ceiling. Keep the neck supported. And then come back forward. Again, inhale, reach, extend, extend. And then come back. Last one, inhale, reach, extend, up, and then come back and let that go. Good job. Excellent work today. Thank you for joining me on the mat. I have a fantastic day. Leave a comment or feedback below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible if you have any questions or anything or any request. Okay, I hope to see you on the mat again. Again, have a fantastic day. Thank you.